Now let us welcome uh, Pastor Ray Kerpus, the Senior Pastor of Every Nation Abu Dhabi, for our devotion. Let's welcome Pastor Ray. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, John. Thank you to her. You guys, thank you, Pastor David and all the, the team who has made this uh, happen. And I'm so glad to uh, take part in this historic event of our uh, kids' church. You know, my uh, favorite uh, tennis player is uh, Rafael Nadal. But my daughter, Emre's favorite, is Novak Djokovic. I'm sure you know Mr. Djokovic. I didn't realize that Novak Djokovic was actually raised in war. Here's what he said in one of his interviews with The Guardian. The life I had in Serbia was fantastic, despite the fact that we lived through two wars. My parents give us all they could. Growing in the wars of 1992 and 1999, we had an embargo on everything so people would have to queue for milk and bread. The economy was non-existent and often it was just a matter of survival. To have been able to move from there to here is incredible. In other words, Mr. Djokovic was saying that when he was a child, he was raised in the context of war and he never thought that from that war season where he grew up as a child, he could rise to the very top of the tennis sporting world. Today, I want to share with you a similar story of a boy who was raised in a war. And I'm talking about Joash, and I'm going to take you to 2 Kings chapter 11, verses 1, 2, and 3. In the NIV, it says, When Athaliah, the mother of Ahaziah, saw that her son was dead, she proceeded to destroy the whole royal family. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram, and sister of Ahaziah, took Joash, son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the royal princes who were about to be murdered. She put him in his nurse in a bedroom to hide him from Athaliah, so he was not killed. He remained hidden with his nurse at the temple of the Lord for six years while Athaliah ruled the land. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Today, my topic or my title of this little devotion is It's About the Kids, Not Us. It's about the kids, not us. Here we see this terrible story of uh, the nation of Judah. You know, the king had died, King Ahaziah. He was actually killed by Jehu as part of the judgment of God. But his mother took over, and this is the very first time and last time that Judah had a queen for their leader. She was the ruler, and her name was Athaliah, and she started killing everybody including her sons or children and grandchildren. I cannot imagine that. I am a grandfather myself. I can't imagine killing my children and my grandchildren. But that's what she did, this woman, Athaliah. Interestingly, the meaning of the word Athaliah is the Lord is exalted. Yahweh is exalted. 
The interesting thing in this story is there was another woman who was so different from Ataliah, whose name was Jehosheba. She was the daughter of uh, the king also, King Je Je Jehoram, who was the sister of uh, Haziah. So the, this Je Jehosheba was actually the wife of the high priest at that time. And she did a wonderful thing because she saved Joash, took her away, and hid him, okay? And I believe took care of him. And Joash was the only boy who was salvaged, who was saved from the cruelty of Ataliah. And by the way, Jehosheba means that God is an oath or God of oath or God of promise. The name Jehoshaba is actually a variant or the name Elizabeth is a variant of Jehoshaba. Now let's look at Joash here. He was saved because of a woman, because of somebody who took care of her. And by the way, the name Joash means given by Yahweh. And this boy was saved. And Jehoshaphat understood that he was supposed to be the next person in line because everyone else was murdered by Ataliah. Now it's interesting that the future of the nation of Judah for good or bad, literally depended on the actions of two women of very, very great contrast, Athaliah and Jehoshaphat. Let us look at their contrast. You know, Athaliah was really after just the position. She wasn't supposed to be the queen or the ruler, but she desired for that position. She took it by force. She killed everyone who actually stood in her way. But Jehoshaba, she was about service. She wanted to serve the kingdom. She wanted to preserve the kingdom and she served this young boy, Joash. Ataliah was all about power. She wanted to be the most powerful person in Judah. And that's why she grabbed that kingdom. And she ruled for six years. <laughs> wow, that was quite long as well. But Jehoshaba was there to sacrifice herself. In fact, she didn't know what was, she didn't know what was going to happen if Ataliah found out about her act of hiding Joash. But she took the risk. She sacrificed. Ataliah was so proud that she thought that the world revolved around her and killed everyone who actually came in her way. She was full of pride, but Jehosheba was submissive to God. She knew this God who made the promise. Remember, her name was God is oath or God is a God of promise. Unfortunately, for Ataliah, she destroyed the children. She actually devalued the next generation. And you know what? To devalue the children of today is to destroy the future of this world. That's why I'm so glad for our kids' church parents and teacher who put so much value in the kids because to sacrifice for our children for the children of today is to actually save the future of this world you know by unselfishly sacrificing for the next generation jehoshaba was ultimately saving the future of the nation 
she sacrificed by saving the future of this of her nation through saving and raising up Joash. And I'm so glad for all our kids' church, both the parents, the pastors, and the kids' church teachers. We want to be the Jehoshua. I believe you are the Jehoshua of the 21st century. You are sacrificing your time, your energy. You're not, you're looking at the kids as the future. The world is going to become better because you guys are pouring your energy, your time, your talents to raise up all these children who are going to be champions for the Lord. So my simple takeaway for this message is this. Let us exalt the Lord. Remember, Atalaya's name was supposed to be to exalt the Lord, but she didn't do that. She exalted herself. Let us exalt the Lord by generously pouring ourselves. And you're doing that, you kids, church teachers, and you parents, pouring ourselves into the lives of today's children whom God will use to shape tomorrow's world. I'm so glad for the parents of Novak Djokovic who took time to raise him in the midst of, a, of their war-torn country. And today, look at where she has gone. And I praise God for our kid church parents and teachers who are the Jehoshabash of today. Therefore, we can be confident that the Lord will use our children of today for a better and brighter tomorrow, a better and brighter world because we've got the Jehoshabash of today training, equipping, serving our children today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much, guys, Paul and John. <laughs>